bookstores, book clubs, and book reading events have become a regular part of Lagos literary life. This book reading is in Lagos at a cozy bookstore in Lekki with a few popular faces. The book for review is An African Abroad, an autobiography of a famous Nigerian journalist and travel writer, Olabisi Ajala. He toured over 80 countries on his scooter. The travel log was first published by London-based Gerald's in 1963 and quickly went out of print. Now, in 2023, with the help of a Nigerian linguist, Kola Tuboson, and the late author's Australian wife, Joanne Olavisi, and Masobe Books, another reprint is out for sale. He lived his life, you know, brazenly, like most Nigerians tend to do on our road. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't care. I'm going to really do my way and live my life the way I want, and you guys deal with it. And he paved the way for so many more people. Mm -hmm. And I, I, the, one of the reasons we publish this is to give him his place in the society and let people be able to acknowledge that. You know, now Bonaboy can sell out any place, um, uh, Ashake okay. and everybody. Mm -hmm. But before them was someone who went through and did it and didn't get as rich and famous out of it. Well, mm -hmm. famous, but not as uh, rich. Alabisi returned to Nigeria and worked as a promoter and publicist for some famous Nigerian musicians like Sikura Indi Barrister and Kolinti Nainla. Tunde Kilani, a friend to the author, talked about one of his experiences with him. He told me that Akali is the person I should talk to. And he told me, and you see, he was talking about the musicians, they don't have any brains. Look, what does he know? He doesn't, he say doesn't know anything. Well, yeah. So you have to talk to me. Look, if I called him now and said it, he's just going to say, a learning song, meaning how much are they going to pay? That's what you say. And suddenly he called and said, Corinthian, this man wants to make a film about you. And I said, you don't bother me. How much is he going to pay? <laughs> so I told him. You know, I tried to use that in a lab. I, I think. Even the journalists and didn't know about this. Mm. Um, this that's the value of this book because mm. nobody really mm. knew him. And seriously, that's what I found. I learned a lot from mm. if I was more journalist than yes. all those other things. Some excerpts from the book was read. I had no doubt that my sudden decision might be suicidal. When I returned I could only see one of the soldiers. He reclined lazily on the chair, smoking a cigarette, his feet propped up on another chair. He was one with a moustache, busily reading a newspaper. At the sound of the engine on my scooter, he nervously put the paper aside and glanced around. I stayed put on my machine. <laughs> Sorry to bother you again. <laughs> Where is your mate? I inquired. He stood up, threw away his cigarette, and rested his right hand firmly on the butt of his revolver. Not you again. What do you want from him for this time? What do you want him for this time? He's speaking on the phone. You talk to me and make it fast or you will go to jail. You must be looking for trouble around here. It was a good evening that left people wanting to know more about Olabisi Ajala's eventful life. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.